combat for Shadow of the Eternals, there's a number of very important features. Uh, it has historically accurate weapons, it's very tactical, and it's con uh, contextual based on the character that you're playing. So we have a system that we've designed that allows for a wide variety of characters, like an inexperienced fighter like the Handmaiden Clara, to a more trained uh, officer like Detective Paul Becker. Um, it's a kind of game where um, it's, it's realistic, where you're not fighting hundreds of enemies, and each character is going to approach a situation in a way that makes sense for that character. So for general combat, we have both melee and ranged uh, historically accurate weapons. And the weapon that you have also is contextual to the type of person it is. So uh, Clara would have like a hidden dagger, or um, you know a knight or something like that would have a, sh a sword and maybe a shield, and that's how they would take out enemies. Uh, for ranged weapons as well, uh, we would like to have a mode so that if the enemy is too close, they would play a melee attack, um, and then they could target enemies and shoot them from a distance. So combat's also very tactical, and we have a mode where you can pick specific parts on an enemy and uh, try to exploit their weaknesses. So um, you have to assess the enemy. So let's say, for example, they had a helmet on. Um, you wouldn't want to attack their head in that case. You would want to try to find another part and exploit that weakness. Um, also, if they had a shield, for example, and you targeted any of the other parts, they would simply just block your attack. So you need to target the shield first to open them up for further attacks. Also, based on this uh, targeting mode, the character that you have uh, will have different actions based on the person that they, you know, the type of fighter they are. So for example, if you target the torso and then the head, uh, an inexperienced fighter, you know, they, they might, you know, kick in the groin and then scratch the face, while a more veteran warrior would use their sword to stab the torso and chop off the head. So combat in Shadow of the Eternals also features contextual attacks. So if you're behind an enemy, you know, you might play a, a sneak attack and stab them from the back. Or if in combat you knock them to the ground, then you can use a finisher to make sure that they stay down on the ground. So hopefully this gives everyone a better sense of the general direction and design of the combat system for Shadow of the Eternals. It's a system that's tactical, historically accurate, and contextual for the type of character that you're controlling.